What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. They're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> I got one question before we get started, ladies and gentlemen. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in Bridgeport again for the next one, guys. And like I said, as the month of April goes along, for the entire month, I'm showcasing different Ma and Pa establishments. Some popular, some unpopular, some familiar, some maybe not so familiar. This is the Connecticut Magazine's Bridgeport, Connecticut's Best Restaurants for 2022. Up next, I'm actually heading over to Briac. Briac is actually celebrating their 10-year anniversary they got a bunch of different specials as far as seafood goes, and we'll talk about those in a little bit. But I want to get over there for the first time ever and find out if they actually have some good eats for me today. What do they have on a menu that's actually considered healthy? We're going to find out. Very real review time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to swing over and then I'll be back with you guys in a minute. We're going to take a look and see how Brian looks on the inside. You ready? Let's get started. Mostly healthy food reviews.
right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is Briac, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And I met Lauren at the bar, very, very nice lady. She was explaining a bunch of stuff to me. They have 75 cent clam specials. They have a dollar oyster specials. They even have $14 lobster tail dinner specials. And these are between the days of Mondays through Wednesdays, Thursdays, you name it. Briac is definitely a sleeper. I didn't realize it was actually this good as far as the food goes. I actually had two menu items today. First of all, I went with the avocado fritas. Now, fritas are basically just French fries, right? And that's a French name or French word for fries, French fries, potatoes usually. But these are avocado. Now, they're actually done in a nice golden panko crust. And then you get a garlic citrus aioli sauce to dip them. They were phenomenal. I would definitely get these again. And they're addictive. They really are. But I had to stop eating them off camera. You pay about $7 for them. And they're a little specialty item. And this is something I would definitely go back for. Great, great food. Loved it. The next thing I actually had was their Black Rock salad. Now, have you ever had a salad that was really simplistic? Very, very simple. But the ingredients were extremely fresh, flavorful, and they just danced off your tongue. That's exactly what this Black Rock salad was. It was a little bit more pricey. It was somewhere, I think, along the lines of about $14, $15 if I was looking at the receipt right. But it was something I would definitely get it again. Now, here's the thing. I actually got blackened chicken with it. Now, the blackened chicken, very, very fresh and flavorful. It was seasoned nicely. But one thing that it surprised me with is that it actually had a little bit of a heat to it, a little bit of a bite. So when I'm actually biting into it, I'm getting the juiciness, the moistness of the chicken. It's just there. It's pronounced. It's, oh goodness, had me dancing on this one. But the thing is, it did have a little bit of a heat to it. Now, the chicken itself was an, a compliment to the salad salad very simple mescaline greens we had olives carrots onions tomato and then of course crouton they had a vinaigrette dressing that you just drizz you know what if you haven't experienced it you need to truthfully very good salad very fresh it was a little pricey but honestly for what it was i think i would definitely get this again matter of fact i'm not going to say think at all in this sentence i would definitely get this again keep in mind too that briac is just like a lot of small businesses lately with covid that they've been having issues as far as people coming down and, and eating out so this industry is a little tough right now but honestly it's a gem if you guys haven't been to the black rock section of bridgeport connecticut you want to swing down and check them out very very flavorful the service was spot on and i would definitely come back and represent and support them again connecticut magazine you guys were right again Again, again, Briac, Black Rock, Bridgeport, Connecticut. This is exactly what Bridgeport should be tasting like. If you like the video, do me a favor, click subscribe, turn notifications on. Just so you know, my little update, I actually just got finished hitting 5,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's what it is. Love it, love it, love it. Big shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me the long way, been supporting me and has been following me. And I definitely appreciate y'all from the bottom of the heart. That just means I got to go harder and give y'all more of that fire when it's time to drop it. In either case, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. Very happy with Brian today. Brian Blackrock. Bridgeport, Connecticut, very healthy this time around. Avocado, salad, did have some chicken, a little bit of fried, a little bit of grilled, but in either case, a whole bunch of flavor. You guys be cool on the other side of the pillow. Let me take off. I'll talk to you next time.